How many times have you watched the Battle of Endor? If you're a Star Wars fan, I'm sure you've watched it easily a hundred times, especially if you grew up on these movies. I want to show you something you've never seen before in this battle, and a few things that you might have missed. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, I'm Michael J, and this is the series where we watch massive Star Wars battles in slow motion to see what everyone is doing in the background. I've watched these movies so many times, but with this series, I've found so many things I've never noticed before, and that's what this whole series is about. We've already done so many battles, Geonosis, Hoth, Kashyyyk, Scarif, Utapau, and even in order 66. I'll put a link to a playlist at the end of the video, definitely go check those out. But this whole series is about finding things that we've never seen before. It's like watching a movie for the first time. We've all seen these battles so many times, yet there's still so many little details they've hidden in them for us that I've never noticed before. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn post notifications on so you don't miss the next one. Plus, it's totally free and it really helps out the channel. We've got a lot of fun videos like this coming up soon and we're going to start doing battles not from the Star Wars universe. I'm thinking maybe the Battle of Hogwarts or Ready Player One, and I have a few others up my sleeve that I don't want to reveal just yet. But if you have any suggestions, please comment down below and I just might make a video on it. But I know this battle is going to probably take longer than I'm expecting it to, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, do you see that guy back there? It looks like he has a beard. Do you think it's the character outside of the shield generator that they said was Rex? Oh, I bet it is. That looks like the same guy, which I love by the way. I'm so happy that they brought Rex into the canon universe of this Star Wars. It was just like one actor that happened to look like him and now it's canon. Ewoks are kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Like they look cute on the outside, but have you seen their insides? What did you say? Not like that, but there was a documentary released. That, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. That's an Ewok. Isn't that freakish? That's what's in my nightmares. And then they just put a layer of skin over it like it makes it any better. That looks like a chubby, naked Jabba the Hutt baby. You cannot tell me that that does not look absolutely terrifying. I wonder if it would be better if they just left all of their faces like that and they were just terrifying throughout the whole movie and not cute, cuddly teddy bears. That'd probably be worse. That would have given me nightmares as a kid. Never mind. Oh, these scout troopers look so good. I just want to have adult money so I can buy adult things and get myself like a custom made full body of scout trooper armor. Like that would be so cool. Comment down below what your favorite type of stormtrooper is. <laughs> this is giving off minion energy. They're just kind of bumbling around. <laughs> Yet they still win. There's Rex, there's our boy. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, he's just sitting there chilling. It actually looks like he almost runs into him. You probably can't see very well in that mask. He was looking down the whole time, running around the corner, and I guess he didn't expect them to be so close? Cause look, he literally like hits him with his knee. I don't think that was intentional. Also, real quick, shout out to this one rebel, the only rebel who doesn't barrel sweep Han Solo when he runs in front of him. He's the only guy who waits to lower his gun until Han Solo's out of the way and the bad guy comes in. This guy, his, <laughs> his barrel is right into Han's face right here. Everyone just pointed their guns at their commander. How dangerous is that? Shout out to the one guy. He's the only one that showed up for blaster safety class. Whoa, did you see that? He sets his gun down and he's gonna take off his clothes and then put the scout trooper armor on. This guy looks like a little kid when he's trying to be angry and show you his angry face. I wouldn't wanna piss that guy off. He might bite your ankles or something. Oh, there's Rex. Oh my gosh, look. He actually put the scout trooper armor on. <gasps> What? Wait, he didn't have his helmet on. He like walks into frame to guard the doors and he's holding his helmet in his hands. That's so cool. Other than Han and Luke when they were in Stormtrooper armor, this is the only other time we see a Stormtrooper with his helmet off, right? <laughs> Not a very good blast door, huh? If you shoot it once, it opens. <laughs> this guy got scared. Did you see that? He actually jumped. Oh, great heavens! Oh. They just knocked him out. Wait, do you see this? It looks like through this doorway, there's a little hallway with a rail, but his arm is glitched behind the railing. Yeah, see, his right arm and his chest are in front of it and his left arm is like stuck behind it like a video game. He's in GTA 5. He also didn't even tumble over it. When he falls, he just goes right through the railing. Wait, where's all the rebels? Where's Rex? Did he die? Why is Rex not here? 
I love that Han just takes the explosive charge and yeets it at this guy's chest. And he actually jumps before he catches it. It's like he's scared to touch it. But this guy actually falls over an, a physical railing. The last guy just glitched through it. Does something not look right here? It might just be me, but I'm pretty sure this is a derpy Stormtrooper helmet. Like, this looks defective. Even when he looks at the camera, this one's still, like, tiny and this one's downward. What happened to him? Who broke his heart? Oh my gosh, there's so many people here. You know what? I think they had 130 extras come in for this shot. I think there was 130 Imperial officers, stormtroopers, and most of them were lumberjacks, which is pretty crazy. They were in the right spot at the right time, and now they're stormtroopers forever. Oh, there's Rex! No way, check this out. Rex is still in the scout armor, except they took away his helmet. That's so cool. So it looks like he did survive. Here's the four or five other rebels. And then Rex is chilling there. They put all their guns over here on the ground. There's like a little Where's Waldo thing, but with Rex. Is this Stormtrooper using Han Solo's blaster? Well, wait, 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 it doesn't look like Han Solo's blaster. It looks a little weird. It looks like a stunt version of it, like a stunt prop or something where it's like rubber and not as accurate. Okay, I mean, here's a side by side. I guess it looks pretty similar, but I feel like it's just off compared to the other shots we see of it. Oh, there he is again. I feel like we're gonna see him throughout this whole battle and I've never noticed him before. These guys are so funny. Oh my gosh, did you see the footage where they're like struggling to climb over the logs? I think it was in the behind the scenes documentary. Those suits that they had were just all fur. There was so much padding that it made it hard to like move around. They had so little mobility. They just waddled like ducks. <laughs> Look at him, he just falls over. He can't even get up the log. He just tries, he goes for it and he's like, all right, I'm gonna shoot my arrow, <clears throat> falls over. Ooh. This Ewok actually hit this Stormtrooper really hard. This poor Ewok just jolted this guy's brain. See, there's the DL-44. That looks like his gun. The other one just didn't look like his gun for some reason. Oh, someone fired his arrow prematurely. Look at this, they're all just supposed to be popping up. He's the only Ewok that launches an arrow. Oh, that guy just got an arrow to the back of the neck. Did you see that? Someone hit this guy right in between where his armor separates, in between the helmet and the back plate. Oh, did you see an arrow right here? This arrow actually bounces off this guy's shoulder plate. Look, hits him and goes up in the air. That's so cool. Wait, what? Han Solo grabs the stormtrooper near him. He grabs him by the wrist where the gun is at and throws him into another stormtrooper just to throw him into it. He doesn't grab the gun or anything. He just yeets him. Oh, there's Rex. Rex like bodies this stormtrooper. He just shoulder checks him to like knock him off guard. And this guy grabs him out of nowhere and just pulls him down to the ground. This guy next to Rex is just shaking his head. He doesn't know what to do until he grapples this guy. There's a lot of people who are just standing around like they don't know what to do. Chewbacca picks up another stormtrooper and does the same thing. <laughs> Did you see this rebel trooper? There's two stormtroopers just hanging out and this rebel comes in and just tries to yeet his gun. He didn't even do anything. It looks like he gets hit in the head with the gun afterwards. So at least he got what was coming to him. Awesome kick to the chest to the stormtrooper by Leia and then just snipes this guy off the top of the ATST. Oh, she's such a beast. Oh, watch Chewbacca. He grabs this guy and just pulls him all the way up into the air until he's off his feet. I don't know if he was struggling or if Chewie thought he was slacking or what is he doing? Oh wait, did you see that? This Imperial officer right here actually gets hit in the head with an arrow. Did they literally just send up volleys of arrows while they're filming this? This is like the second or third time we've seen it just bounce off whoever it hits. Chewbacca picks up another stormtrooper and does the same thing. Oh, look, Han finally grabs his blaster off the ground. I never saw that before. Also, what is going on with the huge pile of stormtrooper bodies behind him? There's a leg up in the air, and there's a rebel and a stormtrooper wrestling on top of the other stormtroopers. These stormtroopers aren't dead. These guys are moving. Oh my gosh, look, Princess Leia kicks this stormtrooper while he's down. It's the most gentle, tiniest kick, too. <laughs> The stormtrooper like reaches out to grab her or something and then just falls. He just falls. He's like, I'm done. I can't get up. It's like this whole battle is just a compilation of everyone pushing stormtroopers over and like getting them to stay on the ground. 
I know those suits aren't the comfiest and they don't have the most mobility, but like, I didn't know it was this bad. It's like their whole game plan was like, if you push them on the ground, they can't get up. I think that is what the common enemy here was because Chewbacca is picking another rebel up off the ground. It looks like the stormtrooper was holding on to him and Chewbacca has to pry him out of the stormtrooper's hands. And look, he gives him a little pat on the back and then puts him back in the battle. Oh, do you see the stormtrooper trip on this log back here? <laughs> Who put that log there? <laughs> okay, so this whole shot is based on sitting behind this Ewok's shoulder as he fires his bow and arrow. And if you watch his arrow, <laughs> it goes sideways. It doesn't fly straight. Oh my gosh, Leia kicks another stormtrooper over. Look at her. How many stormtroopers has she kicked over? I think this is her fourth one. <laughs> Oh, his helmet comes off. <gasps> what? That's a chin. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is the only other time we've ever seen a stormtrooper lose his helmet, right? Can anyone think of any other times where he's lost his helmet on screen and they left it in? Watch out, watch out. Oh, someone bodies the stormtrooper. He's upside down. This rebel catches him on the way down. Look, he extends his arm right here and catches his leg. <gasps> That's on Solo. What? Han Solo throws this guy over his shoulder? It doesn't look like there's any stunt pads where they're working. So like he tried to catch him and he just fell straight on the ground. To top all of that off, he wasn't even in the shot. He was hidden behind a plant that was hidden behind an Ewok hand. Whoever suggested this, thank you. If you have any other suggestions for Star Wars videos or non-Star Wars videos, please put them in the comments. Wait, what is that? What? I'm so confused. Is this his prop, like his stunt one, and this is his real one or something? Like, DL-44 wasn't standard issued, was it? Especially to Imperials? Why is there two of Han Solo's pistols on the ground? I'm so confused. Also, it's cool to see him do this move, but I never noticed that a rebel was helping the stormtrooper flip safely. It looks like he didn't get the rotation all the way. Like his butt doesn't keep rotating and his head doesn't come back up. Instead, it looks like he actually lands on his head or he would have if the rebel didn't help him. Who put Chewbacca's bowcaster sticking straight up out of the ground? That's such a tiny detail no one's ever found before, I'm sure. I mean, maybe one person, but like, that's crazy. Yeah, we saw piles of stormtroopers on the ground. These are just the only ones left who didn't have the energy to get up. This guy got up five different times and Leia kicked him back down each time. He gave up. They're not dead. They're just tired. <laughs> They're just beaten on his head. Oh, look, he cracked his armor. Oh my gosh, that's impressive. <laughs> it's so funny that they just dropped tiny little rocks on those guys. Oh, wait, did this Ewok get hit in the chest with the blast? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? I thought it hit behind him, but this is clearly like in front of his arm and it's going through him because you can see it out the other side. I think an Ewok just got shot in the chest by an ATST. It looks like he was still alive enough to jump though. That's weird. Ooh, that looks like it actually hurt because they, they had to really film that, like a bolo getting wrapped around this guy's neck. <laughs> this guy didn't even get wrapped up. He just got hit in the head with two rocks. <laughs> oh, that must have hurt. Imagine just swinging a rock around your head and then catching your big old eyeball and the rock hits you in the other eyeball at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, good shot. That's a beautiful explosion. There's so many people to man these catapults, but in reality, you only need three. I mean, maybe to help aim it, but these guys aren't doing anything. This guy's not doing anything, and these guys aren't doing anything. I mean, you gotta get the rock in there, but after that, you just pull the string, right? <laughs> Come on, guys, disperse. Go throw some more rocks or something. I have a core memory of how this branch breaks apart. I remember it from just how good it splinters and how satisfying that is. You know what's a little sad is I haven't seen Rex in a while. <laughs> I love this big thing looming above their heads and then it's just like <laughs> Oh gosh, there's a force sensitive Ewok back here that force pushed this guy. I think this is what turned the tide. Like them capturing an ATST really helped. There's two little Ewoks hugging Chewbacca. This is so wholesome. Can they communicate or is he just like uh, come on, come on, do drive. Also, I would not trust them. They can barely shoot an arrow properly. Ooh, that destruction. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Oh my gosh, this Ewok stole a Stormtrooper blaster. Why do we never see an Ewok firing a blaster? That would be so cool. Could you imagine him just confusingly trying to like shoot a Stormtrooper? I wish they put that in there. I wish there was a little Ewok firing a Stormtrooper blaster like hidden in the background somewhere. Oof, that, that hit is so hard. I love how at this point the stormtroopers have basically given up. No one is firing anymore. Like they know they've lost, but they still have guns. I mean, you can still shoot teddy bears with guns, but like no one's even trying. They're just getting ratioed here. Did that guy just get hit in the head? <laughs> he got hit in the elbow. <laughs> Drama queen. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like this, the more natural ways of fighting the machines. But let's be real, it would take so many tiny little Ewoks to, to raise one of these logs up this big hill. Just for the coincidence that it would walk by at the right time and they'd be ready. Oh my, did Han just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never seen this before. Did Han just accidentally grab her? It looks like she's still like on fire a little bit, like the charge is still hot. And he like went to touch here and then he like, okay, let's move on before we get demonetized. Oh no, the rebels on the side died. When did they die? Wait, what? Did you see that? Look at this. When Han runs by, there's like a ghost behind him. It's like a, it's like his reflection. What the heck is that? Look at this. This piece of debris bounces off like an invisible wall right here and back in. This is probably a miniature they blew up. So beautiful. Look at this piece right here. I always like watched it as a kid and I was like, that's the same piece, isn't it? I'm looking for Rex, I'm looking for Rex. Does anyone see him? He better not have died. If we see two Ewoks making out, I'm done. So many Ewoks. Can you imagine if all of these showed up? There was just 10 times as many. Oh look, it's Admiral Akbar chilling with the Ewoks. Oh wait, maybe this is him. Wait, there's a bunch of Mon Calamari. How do they dance in Star Wars? I don't know, just stick out your hands and wave them back and forth. Oh, that's so cool. Look, a little group of Ewoks mixed up with some rebels just dancing around the fire. Oh, look, there's Leia and Han. Why are they being introverts? Oh my gosh, you just saved the universe. Go hang out with some Ewoks. They literally look like they're at the party because they have to be and they didn't want to be in their board. They want to go home. Is that Rex? Oh my gosh, is that... No, no, that's not Rex. He doesn't have a beard. Dang it. I looked for Rex so hard and I can't find him. I don't know if they just didn't show him. It's unconfirmed if he survived or if we missed it. Okay, side note, did anyone else have these chest plate toys as a kid that were laser tag? I think it came with two orange DL44s and there was like two things. They had straps for around your neck and then straps for around your waist and they were laser tag. So you had the DL44s and you could run around the house as kids shooting each other playing laser tag. It was the coolest thing ever. Star Wars laser tag, batteries not included. Is this Lando entering back here? It kind of looks like him. Oh wait, it is. This guy looks like he wants a Wookiee hug. I see that jealousy in that side eye. Oh, that's so swag. Can you imagine walking up to a party with a real lightsaber on your belt? Dude, no one could come up to you. Whoa, look at Princess Leia's sandals. What's that now? Sorry, this isn't weird. I'm just curious what kind of shoes they wear. Okay, the Ewoks definitely made those from some leaves or something. Oh, there they go. They shook his hand. Maybe he'll get a hug out of it. If he plays his cards right. That was really cool. We found a lot of cool stuff in this battle. I completely forgot how big it was. I forgot how many background actors there were. The only two things I wish we saw was an Ewok shooting a Stormtrooper's blaster because he definitely acquired one. And then second is I wish we saw Rex after the battle because we lost him as soon as everyone started pushing Stormtroopers to the ground. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below which battle you want to see me do next. I'll have another video out soon, but until then, I will see you in the comments. And remember, the Force will be with you always.